What is up, everybody? It's Sam Hoops to Holmes Coleman, and today I'm going to show you guys exactly what realtors actually do. So before I show you guys what realtors actually do on this channel, I give tips and tricks on how to buy and sell real estate. I help real estate agents build their business and I do property tours. And if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, drop a comment and add me on all social media. So what realtors actually do, first and foremost, we don't really sell homes. The homes are the easy part. I mean, what does it really take? You find a home. Most people find their home on the Internet before they actually go see it anyway. Then we get there, we open the door and more so answer questions because you either like the home or you don't. What we actually do also is manage people. People need to sometimes need a little smacking around. We need to let them keep them into keep them in line. And then oftentimes they slap us around and keep us in line because they're the ones spending the money or they're the ones selling the home. We're managing the relationships, managing each other, managing the personalities because every family has a different need. Every person has a different need. Every real estate agent is completely different. We also manage other real estate agents. I mean, let's be serious. Like every every real estate agent has a has an ego. We watch Million Dollar Listing. We watch HGTV. We think that everybody is the Josh Altman or the Josh Flag or the or the whoever. We want to be the we want to be the most important. We want to puff our chest out and say, "Look at me! I just did this thing." And a lot of the times, we're managing each other's ego, and we get into the per my last email phase, and we start going back and forth and typing and getting all crazy. Most of the time, we're going to be managing each other along with managing our own clients. We also de-escalate drama. There are so, so many times where uh, a home inspector will come into a home and they'll say, these things need to be fixed. And as a real estate agent, we're thinking these things are so small, but maybe you're a first time home buyer and a first time home buyer is like, well, these things are paramount. I'm spending $300,000 on a home. I expect everything to be perfect. Or I'm spending a million dollars on a home. There better not be a speck of dust anywhere in this house. So we're going to de-escalate drama, trying to keep people and their personalities under control while, while we're managing them and then trying to keep the agent under control while trying to manage them also. And then keeping people honest. The vendors that we work with, whether it's a title company, an escrow officer, a home inspector, or even a loan officer, making sure that we keep the timelines in order. Because if you're buying a home or you're selling a home, the timeline that we tell you that we're going to stick to, we better stick to it because it's your life that's on the line. Whether you're going to be relocating out of state and we're supposed to close on a certain day, but now the loan officer is telling you that they need that there's a delay, but you already scheduled movers. We have to maintain those vendors to keep them honest and make sure that they're sticking to the timelines that we agreed to in the beginning. Now, things happen. We don't always be we're, we're not always able to predict things that are going to happen. Maybe the underwriter, which nobody knows where underwriters actually live or if they exist. They're kind of like parking meter people. You never really know them to develop a relationship with them. But the underwriter, they can be the bane of our existence because they may say, hmm, this person doesn't qualify now because we need five years of bank statements or five years of P&Ls or whatever the case may be. And now they can throw a wrench into the program. These are things that can be unforeseen and we can't predict them. Or maybe you get COVID and now you can't go to sign when you were supposed to sign. Things happen is all I'm saying. Things happen and we can't predict those. But we need to manage the vendors that we work with as much as possible because if we don't, Things don't happen. Realtors don't get paid. You don't get your home. The new homeowner doesn't doesn't get their home or you don't sell your home. You don't get relocated or whatever you're trying to accomplish when you're when you're selling or buying a home. So I'm saying all that to say realtors don't necessarily get paid to sell homes. The homes are actually the easy part. It's everything else that goes along with the process that we actually get paid for. If you find value in this video, feel free to like, subscribe, drop a comment, add me on all social. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.